to Music and Munchies. My name is Maria Rose. So today I am going to show you how to make a cauliflower crust pesto pizza. Mmm. You know, you can also just use like a regular pizza crust if you want and just have a pesto, a vegan pesto pizza. I'm going to show you how to make a vegan, a cheap, because it doesn't have pine nuts, a cheap vegan pesto. All right, you guys. So let's go make some pizza. Do we go make some pizza? So we're gonna start with the pesto. Go ahead and use two cloves of garlic. And then I use about two of those two ounce plastic containers of basil, a half of a lemon. This helps to keep the nice green color in the pesto. Helps the leaves stay beautiful looking. And then about a little less than a teaspoon of salt. You can use less if you want. And then three tablespoons of nutritional yeast. This gives it the cheesy flavor, minus the cheese. And then you guys, to make it cheaper, you can just use cherry tomatoes instead of pine nuts. You don't even need to use pine nuts for pesto. What? It tastes amazing. Anyway, on to the cauliflower. You want to put the cauliflower into a food processor until it's chopped up nice and fine. Then you steam it until it's tender. Then you put it into a cheesecloth and drain it and squeeze it out. Squeeze out all of the water as much as you can until it looks nice and pulpy like that. And then you mix in the seasonings. I used Italian, uh, Italian herbs, garlic, smoked paprika, a little bit of nutritional yeast, salt and pepper and to flavor mine and that was a really good combination tasted really good and then to, so that it all kind of sticks together you're, you're going to use a flax egg and that's what this lovely little creature is right here this little blob yes say hello and I, that's about five tablespoons of ground flax seed mixed with water and let it sit for a minute until it gets all gelatinous and gets character like that then you mix it all in together so make sure you mix it really well. And then I added two cups of brown rice flour. And I'll be honest with you guys, I have a love-hate relationship with gluten-free baking and cooking in general. It's, I don't know, I'm still trying to like nail it, get it down. Because it's kind of tricky sometimes, baking. Because sometimes it falls apart, sometimes it doesn't, I don't know. But this time it actually stayed together. I think that flax egg helped a lot. So you form it into, you know, your pizza crust. I ended up making two pizzas. And <clears throat> then you add the pesto base. And you can kind of add whatever toppings you like. I ended up using red pepper because, you know, you gotta have red pepper. It's so beautiful and delicious and good for you and the rest of those cherry tomatoes, some mushrooms, oh, I love mushrooms, and then I topped it all off with spinach. And because I spent all this time on the crust, I didn't want to mess around with any like homemade cashew mozzarella, so I just used some Follow Your Heart vegan mozzarella, which is my favorite uh, vegan mozzarella, the easiest to find one anyway. And here you go, the finished product. We got a pretty little pesto pizza and there I am garnishing it with a little bit more basil because you can never have enough basil. If you go, if you make this, go ahead and tag me on Instagram, at Maria Music Munchies. I would love to see your creations and let me know how it turned out for you guys. If you liked it, how you might change it and make it your own, you know, it's always fun to play around in the kitchen. So I hope you guys enjoy and I will see you in the next video. Bye.